What's up guys, Random Razor here with another video for you guys today. And today I just want to make a quick video on this, the Nobis Kato Jacket. Uh, in particular, compare it to another popular parka brand, Canada Goose. So this is the Nobis Kato, which is a parka with a peacoat style design to it, which I thought was pretty cool. So here's a closer look at the jacket here of the Nobis Kato. And for those of you who don't know about Nobis, it's just like Canada Goose, popular luxury parka brand for winter gear. Um, obviously this company is a little bit smaller than Canada Goose, but it does have some Canada Goose roots where the CEO actually used to work for Canada Goose. And then he left and made his own brand here. So the color of this particular model is a charcoal black. I would have preferred a jet black, which they did have last year. I don't see it uh, available this year. So, uh, but charcoal black isn't too bad if you're looking for some sort of black color. The outer material of this uh, parka is made from a polyester wool blend, which is actually a nicer material than the polyester cotton blend that Canada Goose uses. It's softer to the touch. I'm not sure if it's as durable or better in regards to the Canada Goose material, uh, but it does feel much more of a luxury material than the Canada Goose uh, polyester cotton blend that they have. Uh, because it has wool properties, you can also argue it might, might have better insulating properties, although it probably doesn't make a huge difference. The biggest uh, major thermal insulator of this jacket, of course, is the uh, white duck down that Novus uses, which is Canadian source and pretty much the same down that uh, Canada Goose uses in the Chateau Parka, which is also a white duck blend down. Now one of the things I like about this jacket over the Chateau Parka is that the Chateau uses actual buttons which are these things here, but with Nobis, they actually use magnets, which you can see is held down via magnets, which I thought was a pretty nice feature. Kind of need both hands for this, but uh, instead of butting up, or but buttoning up, sorry, um, it just uses magnets, which I thought was a much more quicker and a, a more efficient way of closing the front flap here than what Canada Goose uses. Here's a quick look at the Chateau Parka here, just for comparison before we continue. You can see very similar button styles that they use, except the Novus is obviously a little bit more stylish with that Pico look. Um, but this is probably the most comparable model to the Novus Kato, especially for around the same price range. Again, these are actual buttons here, which some of you may like, but the nice thing about the magnets is that uh, they are a little bit quicker to uh, open and close the flap, whereas this you have to do it for buttons or five if you're, if you're going to use the top. Continuing on with the Novus here, we do have four pockets, two hand warmer pockets on the top and two just traditional style pockets on the bottom. Both are all, all four, sorry, are fleece lined, uh, just like the Canada Goose. Uh, just like the flap here, these are also magnetically open and closed. With the Chateau Parker here on the Canada Goose jacket, there's no flaps or anything. It's just this stitched um, overlap flap. It doesn't uh, zip up or anything like that. And I actually find it difficult to stick my hands through all the time because this flap here really snags at your hands. The zippers on the Novus Kato, just like Canada Goose, are YKK zippers. They're also double zippers, so they work uh, both ways. So instead of having to take your entire coat out, um, you can just zip this up if you want to sit down in your vehicle or something without having to unzip your entire coat. Another cool addition of the Kato jacket are these zippers underneath your armpits. So if it gets a little bit too hot under there, you can actually unzip this and that will help uh, vent out some heat in case you're uh, getting a little bit hot in the coat, which generally happens underneath your arm armpits. So it's a double zipper and they just open up. So it's a pretty nice the little feature. Of course, it's on uh, both sides of the coat. Taking a look at the top here, we can see we have a coyote fur ruff, just like Canada Goose, although the one I have on my Chateau Park is a little bit more puffier, but that just uh, varies from model to model in both brands. Um, the fur ruff is removable. The entire hood is also removable. So if you, if you want to rock your jacket without this entire hood on, you can, because the jacket itself does have a separate collar on the top here, whereas the Chateau Parka, if I just can just uh, grab it here, so you can see the Chateau Parka hood is completely attached to the coat. It doesn't have a separate collar either. However, the fur ruff is also removable. Um, on the Nobis, the, there is a, like some sort of wire in it, so you can actually adjust the, uh, the curvature of the hood, whereas the Chateau Park here, there's no wire or anything, it's just completely uh, loose. So a number of extra features that the Nobis has over the Chateau Parka. Anyways, we're not done yet, we're going to check out the inside of the coat. So here is the inside of the Nobis Kato, and you can see here, pretty similar to what you expect with an interior of a Parka. That being said, this does have a little flap here, I, I think they call these butt flaps or something, that you could uh, undo. 
Uh, it also has three pockets versus just one. Canon Goose also has a zippered pocket here, just like the Nobis, but the Nobis also has two additional Velcro thinner style pockets on the bottom corners, so you can put more stuff in your coat. One thing that the Kato has over the Canon Goose is you can see, just like the Canon Goose jacket, it's a quilted design, so there's pockets that are down all over. What makes the uh, Nobis a little bit nicer is that they also have an additional layer or addi additional liner of nylon on top of the quilted nylon underneath. So you have a double liner, which is a nice idea because down inevitably likes to um, seep out of those seams and whatnot in a quilted design. Whereas with Nobis here, because they have a double liner, in case a piece of down comes out, it's still within inside of the coat. Here's a quick look at the inside of the Chateau Parka, and you can see here it's the quilted design as you expect with a high-end down parka, but there's no second liner. You can see the actual scenes for each of the quilted pockets for the down. All right, so first off, here is the Canada Goose Chateau Parka. Again, it's a very nice coat. I love the uh, look of it. This is this was my uh, first actually decent uh, down parka that I got many, many years ago, back in 2012, I think. So it's almost, uh, almost 10 years now. And the jacket itself has held up pretty well. This is what it looks like, slim fit design. Down coat, pretty comfortable, pretty warm. There's your fancy little buttons on the front here, which I think is one of only two, maybe three models that Canada Goose uses with these buttons here. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice jacket. Canada Goose logo, for rough right here. So that is the uh, Chateau Parka. All right, so here is the Nobis Kato jacket. And as you can see here, one of my favorite features I love about this coat already is of course the magnetic feature. It does have one button on the bottom here to button the bottom like that and uh, that's what it looks like so this is actually an extra small the chateau was a small i should have got a small but they had all sizes except the small was out of stock so I decided to give the extra small a shot it is a little bit sunk fit even though i have a slim build so i would probably recommend getting your actual size if you, if you normally buy a small in a coat get a small uh, because you do want a little bit of looseness with a parka since you're going to be sporting a sweater underneath likely which is going to be thicker than like a t-shirt so get your actual size but of course if you're in store try them both out see which one you like um, but yeah this is much a little bit snugger fit than the uh, chateau because it is i did downsize but uh, actually, it's definitely got a tailored fit to it. Although I don't really like that too much because I'm wearing a t-shirt and I'll likely be wearing a sweater in the winter. So again, you got your hand warmer pockets on the top. Although they are kind of shallow. You can see they don't go all the way in, but it's a nice added touch where the Chateau doesn't have anything like these. Um, these, button, or these pockets here are nice. Flat, magnetic, stick your hand in. Again, they're a little bit shallow, but uh, more than enough for your phone or wallet. And I like how these are magnetic, magnetically closed where Canada Goose doesn't have any sort of actual flap. Anyways, that is the uh, Nobis Kato. You can see the Nobis logo there. And honestly, it's actually a warmer coat than a Chateau Parker. I can feel it's more puffier around the arms, around the chest, around the back. And I feel a little bit warmer than Chateau Parker right now. Even though it's not winter, I can feel the heat being trapped inside versus the Chateau Parker. Um, a little bit better. So warmth, warmth wise, I think the Nova's is actually uh, a better coat. That being said, the Chateau is rated as slim fit, so I'm not surprised it doesn't have much uh, down versus the uh, Kato here. But um, it definitely does feel like a warmer jacket, which uh, if that is a priority, I would consider this over that because of that uh, particular reason, which is of course should be the main reason is buying a winter jacket, whichever one is the warmest. And my thoughts on the uh, peacoat style look here, it's a pretty attractive design. I, I like this peacoat look. It's something different and uh, you know, peacoats aren't really the warmest coats out there. Yeah, they look kind of fancy, but once you get into midwinter, they generally aren't warm enough unless you layer up on the inside or if you're just doing, you know, short trips between one place to another. But if you want an ultra warm peacoat style parka, Nobis definitely did a pretty good job designing this one here. But anyways, that is the Novus Kato. So overall guys, not the best view of both jackets, but in short, functionality wise, the Novus jacket is technically better. It has a better outer material, has more features, the magnetic uh, closure for the flap here is definitely better than the uh, buttons. Um, it's also a puffier jacket, which means that uh, there's more down in it. So the Novus is certainly a warmer coat. The minute I put on the Novus, I felt a lot warmer quicker than the Chateau Parka. Granted, the Chateau Parka is considered a slim fit 
parka, so it may not be designed to be as puffy as the Nobis. The Nobis, I don't think they advertise it as slim fit, they just advertise it as a parka. So uh, yeah, in general, the Nobis is going to be warmer, and they both use the same down insulation source from uh, Canada. From a style perspective, the Canada Goose has an iconic design. You can tell this is a Canada Goose jacket from a distance, from the patch to the uh, material that they use, and the simplistic, that the, uh, simplistic design that they have with their winter coats. With the Nobis one here, it's not as recognizable as Canada Goose just because it's a Nobis. You, know, you don't hear Nobis as much as Canada Goose, that's just a given fact. Um, but from a style perspective, this uh, cool Pico design is certainly uh, very attractive. Um, it's definitely a nice uh, formal look to it. Uh, and however, both coats are pretty formal looking thanks to the button design. But of course, this has a much more attractive design because it's a peacoat style uh, look. And price point wise, both are actually around the same price, around a thousand bucks depending on where you buy it. That being said, Novus goes on sale more often with deeper discounts. So you can find this off maybe $400, $500 off at the year end clearance versus Canada Goose where you may see it off for maybe, maybe $100 or $200. So there's certainly a bit of a price point difference when they do go on sale. The last thing I want to address is uh, where they're made in. The Nobis used to be made in Canada, but after a number of years they switched to made in China. Now I thought that might be a deal breaker because it's made in China. When you think of made in China, you think of cheaper quality. Um, but Apple makes their stuff in China and they make good phones. And after inspecting this jacket, wearing it, trying it out, it's uh, as good quality as a Canada Goose. All the seams are stitched together right, there's no extra pieces of string coming out, it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. Um, and Novus claims that their brand or their coats are made in the same factories as Burberry and all those other higher luxury brands. So from a quality perspective, although it would be nice if it was made in Canada, you're not losing quality or liability with the Novus jacket here compared to Canada Goose. And keep in mind, Canada Goose, unlike my jacket, which is about almost 10 years old now, this was made in Canada, but their newer Chateau Parkers are now made in Canada with global materials according to their labels. So even now, Canada Goose jackets aren't 100% made in Canada anymore, considering it's made from parts that are imported elsewhere. So in conclusion guys, which coat should you get? First off, it just depends on the style. Forget all the price point, if you're buying this at the start of winter, they're both going to be very comparable. Um, but it just depends on what you like. If you like the look of this jacket and you don't want it to stand out as much as a Canada Goose jacket, but you want the same warmth and quality as a Canada Goose jacket, you can't go wrong with Nobis. This is a very well made coat. It's warmer than a Chateau Parka. Very, very nice. The biggest thing that the Canada Goose jacket has, has it going for is the fact that it's a Canada Goose jacket. It's a... Uh, iconic design. It's got, got an iconic logo. It does hold its value more than the Nobis jacket here in my opinion uh, because it's Canada Goose and uh, so if you want to be part of, that, part of that group of Canada Goose people there's nothing wrong with buying a Canada Goose jacket. So between the two jackets you can't go wrong either way. You definitely get more bang for your buck with the Nobis jacket here because it offers better warmth and uh, more features uh, but at the same time uh, if you want, if you like the look of the Canada Goose jacket, you can't go wrong with that either. So it really just depends on what you want. And uh, either way, they're both nice coats. So anyways, that is my uh, two cents on comparing Nobis and Canada Goose. In particular, their Chateau Parka and the Nobis Kato. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. That is a quick comparison video of both these coats. Hopefully it helps you out for those of you looking for a parka for this winter. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next video.